Let's look at creating our own greeting cards for the holidays. I was scrolling through Creative Fabrica and saw a similar design and realized how simple this was to make and thought I would share all of the steps so you can create your own as well. Now these can be used for birthdays, Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year's, you name it, you can make it exactly how you want it and you can add layers to make it more detailed. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success and if you would not mind, Click in the subscribe button down below. I promise to bring you tips, tricks, and tutorials at least once a week. Now there is a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started. We're going to go up to File and open up the new project wizard. Let's select Card and then Start. That's going to bring in a 10 by 7 rectangle so that our folded card will be 5 by 7 and it does have the score line in the middle. I'm going to select this and ungroup, switch the score line to a solid line and I'm going to switch it over to blue so that I can use my embossing tool in the sun page. Now the outside of the card will cut and the score line will score. We can select both of these, right click, and group them back together. The next step is to create our top layer, which is our design. We're going to select a rectangle from our drawing tools and just draw that out. Now again, this side of our card is going to be five by seven and I want my top layer to be 4.5 by 6.5 and that will leave me with a quarter inch on every side once it's set in place. This is the part that we're working with, so let's move the card base off to the side and let's go ahead and fill that in so we can see it better set in there. Now the first step in creating the decorative layer is to make a border. So we can select our rectangle, open up the offset panel, and select internal offset. I'm going to go with a quarter inch here. So let's click on apply. Now we can select both of these pieces, right click, and make a compound path. Now we have a frame that we can put our design in. I am going to be using the flexi shapes. You do need to upgrade your software in order to have access to the flexi shapes, but if you do not have access to the flexi shapes, you can find simple shapes online and bring them in and use those in your designs. The first thing I want to create is a couple of Christmas trees. I like this one here. Let's click on that and just drag that out. You can use the nodes to adjust everything. I like to pull my branches out a little bit and I think I want this a little bit shorter. I like that. When it looks just the way you want it, you can right click and convert to path. I'm going to set one here, right click and duplicate. And I'm going to make this one a bit larger. Now at this point, you want to pay attention to where your pieces are overlapping. You do want them to overlap some, and it is okay if it goes over the edge a little bit, but you wanna make sure that everything stays connected. Now this gap in here is going to be kind of an issue, so let's pull this out a little bit further. I would rather deal with the editing points on the outside than on the inside, but that's just a personal preference. I'm going to pull this one down just a little bit because if we zoom in right here, you can see there's going to be this little gap and it's not a huge deal, but I really don't want it there. So I'm just going to pull this down until that little hole is closed up and I think that will be okay. Let's go back to our flexi shapes. This time we're going to create a snowflake. I'll be using this cross arrow here. And again, you just click on your mat and drag it out and you can use the red dots to manipulate the design when it looks just the way you want it. Again, you right click and convert to path. Now that does not look like a snowflake, but we are getting there. Let's go ahead, right click and duplicate. Open up our transform panel. The third tab is rotate and we are going to rotate by 45 degrees. You can see we are getting a little bit closer. I want the second copy a little bit smaller. Let's select both and center. 
I think that's cute. Now we can right click and weld those together. And if we shrink it down a bit, it looks more like a snowflake. And you can play around with the flexi shapes and come up with a lot of different snowflake designs, but we'll go with this for today. Let's set this out of the way for just a minute and work on our text. I'm going to just have a simple Merry Christmas. I do want both of these in the same font, so I'm going to select both of these and open up my textile panel. I originally had went with Star Bright, but all of these swirls and loops got a little bit thin, so I went instead with a Spicy Chicken. No, that does not sound very merry, but it works. Let's put a little bit of space in between these. We can select both, right click and weld. And you can see by all of these bounding boxes here that the letters are not all connected. And that's not what we want for this card. We want everything on here to be connected. So let's undo that. We can ungroup the letters and just move them in a bit so that they are overlapping. Now we can select all of this, right click and weld. And you can see there is one bounding box and it's all stuck together. That is perfect. Let's do the same for Christmas. Make sure that the dot on the eye is connected as well. For that, I had to release the compound path. Now we can just bump it down a little bit with our arrow key. Let's give this a try. Select all of this, right click and weld and the I and the R did not weld. Let's hit the undo button to put that back in place. Select the last part of the word, bump it over with the arrow key, and try again. Now there is one bounding box. The word is all stuck together and we are good to go. I am going to select Merry and Christmas, right click and group them together, set them up inside the card and pull this out just a little bit. Let's select Merry Christmas and our base and use the align tool at the top to align the centers. And now we can work on putting our snowflakes in place. And you do want these to overlap some of the design so you're not dealing with loose pieces as you go. You can select the snowflake and duplicate and just set them wherever you'd like. You can adjust the size so they look a little bit different throughout the card. And you can also rotate them. I think I'm going to bring Christmas in just a little bit. The S is hanging over a lot. Let's ungroup this, select Christmas, and just give it a little squish. I think one more snowflake down in here will do. Now I'm going to select all of my pieces, right click and weld. And that looks pretty cute, except for this part on the bottom. You can see that the tree branches came down below the bottom of the card and that's really easy to fix. We just need to double click to bring up the editing points. And let's go ahead and zoom in here. We definitely need the editing point in the corner. Let's select the one next to it and just start hitting the backspace button on our keyboard. Fit our design back to the window, get rid of the editing points, and that looks really good. Everything is connected and you can switch up the color of your card base and your design. You'll want to cut your card base out of one color your design out of the other. So let's take a look at the card base in the send page. Now, when we open up the send page, you can see that the center line here is set to cut. We need it to score. Let's go ahead and right click and ungroup this. Select just the center line, pull down carriage two and click on emboss. Now we can get our media loaded into the machine and send this through. I did have my material set to cardstock, textured heavy, 80 pound. That gives me a blade depth of three, force of 30, one pass, and a speed of four. The machine will cut out the card and then use the embossing tool to create the score line. If you want to create the score line first and then cut, you'll need to cut by line.
Now, if you really want to take your card making skills to the next level, you're going to want to watch this video next. It shows you all about the pop up card panel in Silhouette Studio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.